please subscribe. The Genesis G90 was constantly a vehicle with a character emergency. In a previous existence it was the Hyundai Equus before turning into the leader official car for the recently shaped Genesis brand. As a lead, the G90 was extraordinary vehicle coming up short on any similarity to visual energy or style, at the end of the day, it was an incredible extravagance vehicle for those planning to mix in consistently with the foundation. With a large number of new vehicles and SUVs expected one year from now, the juvenile extravagance automaker invigorated the 2020 Genesis G90, at long last giving it the styling expected to assist it with standing apart from the group. Beginnings endeavors on the G90 overhaul were primarily centered around its sheet metal. Each line, wrinkle, and corner, put something aside for the entryways and rooftop, was needed and changed to give the G90 both to a greater extent a nearness and all the more a character out and about. The two most dubious parts of this enormous car's new styling will undoubtedly be forthcoming and on its flanks. Its nose is currently assailed with Genesis new chest grille and quad LED headlights, the last of which is parked by another LED lighting component. In photos, the grille and headlights join to give the G90 a kind of unattractiveness, yet the nose work is far less polarizing face to face. The G90's new 90s return wheels will undoubtedly be dubious, as well. Not every person will value the dish and web talk tasteful. However the 19-inch wheels work superbly at outwardly filling the G90's wheel curves, a troublesome accomplishment to achieve as some extravagance automakers are looking toward huge 22 and 23-inch wheel plans. The remainder of the progressions to the 2020 Genesis G90 are moderately minor, which is presumably generally advantageous, considering a pre-revived G90 beat out the BMW 7 Series, additionally pre-invigorate, Lexus LS, and Lincoln Continental in our latest huge extravagance car shootout. Inside, Genesis adds a sprinkle of shading to the G90's Lodge, as five new inside shading plans, joining dark and beige, for an aggregate of seven, and two new wood trim choices, for a sum of four. Underhood changes are much increasingly minor. The G90's base 3.3-liter twin-turbo V6 and 5.0-liter V8 are precisely indistinguishable from the pre-invigorate renditions, however both are said to have amended tuning. The V6 makes a sound 365 horsepower and 376 pounds to foot of torque, while the V8 produces 420 horsepower and 383 pounds to foot both are matched in 8-speed programmed, updated to make it calmer than previously. Back wheel drive is standard, and all wheel drive is discretionary on the two motors. The G93.3 T is EPA appraised at 17 slash 25 20 of a mile per gallon city slash roadway slash consolidated in both back and all wheel drive structures, while the G95.0 net 16 slash 24 19 of a mile per gallon with back drive and 15 slash 23 18 of a mile per gallon with all wheel drive. Obviously, when you slip into the G90's bank vault calm lodge and fire the vehicle up, the 2020 model feels a lot of like the adaptation that went before it. Both the G93.3T Premium and 5.0 Ultimate, the two motors accompany single detail trim bundles, drive outlandishly easily. With any lead vehicle, going with the biggest motor conceivable is typically a sure thing. The 5.0 liter V8, the uncommon normally suction motor in the fragment, is practically old school American like in the manner it's tuned. The large 420 horsepower factory is amazing however delayed to fire up, a characteristic enhanced by the gearbox's long proportions and a version of being surged. The charmingly languid V8 just uncovers its capacity with the pedal to the floor, letting out a quieted, throaty thunder as it pins you back in your seat. Since the G90 V8's throttle reaction is so quieted, the 3.3-liter twin-turbo V6 model shockingly feels a lot of like the 5.0. Force conveyance is smooth with simply the smallest trace of turbo slack, and the motor ID is up quite a bit of its 376 pounds to foot of torque off the line at low speeds. Like the G95.0, the 8-speed auto in the G93.3T is tuned for smoothness and quietness over all else, shifts need earnestness, yet they likewise flawlessly mix away from plain sight as the transmission surfs wave after influx of torque. It's just about the nearest you can get to the experience of an electric vehicle with an old-school inside ignition motor. Beside the unobtrusive powertrain contrasts between the two G90s, both drive close indistinguishably. Guiding is light and low exertion, however it's sufficiently open to consistently tell you what the front wheels are doing. Brake pedal feel is tuned to help make each stop limo-like. Body control and ride quality are comparably fantastic, however the G90 doesn't exactly resolve obstructions in a similar persuading way as a Mercedes-Benz S-Class would. 
much the same as the drive understanding, the 2020 G90 feels to a great extent like the pre-revive cycle inside, tranquil, well-assembled, and unfortunately somewhat exhausting. The additional shading and trim choices do liven the G90's lodge up to some degree, yet the feeling of sterility is certain, particularly considering the new sheet metal and contrasting the G90's lodge with rivals like the delightfully structured Lexus LC or Lincoln Continental Black Label. All things considered, the G90 has a bunch of flawless highlights of its own, the gathering piece being the 22-way driver's seat with another act examination include. Squeezing the savvy button on the entryway prompts up another page on the G90's 12.3-inch infotainment show. Info your stature, weight, and inseam, and the seat will naturally change in accordance with a place that would make your orthopedist glad. Actually, I viewed the recommended position as excessively near the haggle, however the framework is likewise fit for giving visual criticism on your favorite driving position, which causes you locate an agreeable medium between the ideal driving position and outings to the chiropractor. Albeit without the program usefulness and 22 degrees of flexibility, the G90's rearward sitting arrangements are quite decent, as well. Both V6 and V8 vehicles offer up limousine levels of room and solace with their very own official style focus supports. The V8 vehicle has the more pleasant secondary lounge bundle, however. Due to the monospec way Genesis fabricates G90S, it gets a remarkably agreeable 12-way left back and 14-way right back seat inaccessible on the G93.3T. The traveler side seat is particularly pleasant, strikingly with the front seat collapsed forward against the scramble, giving your legs a lot of land to spread out. By and large, the 2020 G90 stays a colossally convincing official vehicle. What this lead needs a through and through wow factor inside, it compensates for in the two its calm ability and its steel receptacle, for the portion, cost. Costs of the G93.3 T are required to begin around $71,000, while the G95.0 Ultimate will begin around $75,00. In 2017 I expressed, in spite of the fact that we in fact wish the G90 made even more a visual proclamation, the lodge is agreeable, sumptuous, and loaded up with the most recent common luxuries and semi-self-sufficient innovations. The drive is smooth yet captivating. Also, its worth story is verifiable. With the G90 sheet metal at long last tended to, the rest all remaining parts consistent with this day. Like never before previously, the 2020 G90 is a trustworthy option in contrast to the customary lead car, and it's a convincing choice for those planning to stand apart from the ocean of S-Classes, 7 Series, and Audi A8S.